Here's a poem about two victims of what Betty Friedan called the feminine mystique. One is the uh, poet uh, Sylvia Plath, and the other is an imaginary housewife named Dot. Dot and Sylvia. Both plunged beads of boiling fudge through frigid water at the perfect point without thermometer, beat eggs and air with effortless wrist spins, created endless games with plastic dinosaurs and pieces of paper on rainy afternoons, peeled fruit for all children and adults she loved fell to knees in mock anger and pointed index finger to emphasize a discrepancy in height, played Stravinsky and Carmen with Leotine Price, taught children funny words to the Toreador song, listened tenderly as others told their lives, loved to talk about books she read, to feel big wet drops fall on her hair and face in an open field, to close eyes and imagine making love to the warm, flat stone on which she was sunning. Wanted a strong and brilliant male to obliterate her, then hated him for doing so. Spoke often of what others thought of her, of what they thought she thought they thought. Stood about public snubs that no one else could see. Said nasty things when she couldn't hold her liquor would suddenly turn on others, then seek forgiveness, requested permission to loathe her mother, mouthed troubling phrases, stasis in darkness, the brown ark, the dew that flies. She never loved me. He touched me in that spot, fluctuated between loving every stranger and abhorring her own flesh, Saver jolt after jolt of current, piercing her body like a lover gone wild. Stayed in bed by day, paced halls by night. Found it easier to remember moments of gloom than moments of radiance. Examined several forms of suicide until selecting one, and here they differed. Sylvia stuck her head in an oven, dot swallowed pills.